Alex Hamoud and the opportunity to get to work with that guy for as long as we did was uh, something special. He had some traits that you just don't see every day, especially when you know, dealing with, with, with leaders and really with just dealing with people in, in general. He was the kind of individual that once you met him, he felt like a brother to you and you really wanted to spend time with him. When I think about Alex, um, the word that comes to mind is without a doubt, family. Uh, if you knew Alex, you, you knew his family. He was so proud of his brothers and his sister, um, and he would always talk a lot about his, his mom as well. Some things that people didn't know is that he supported his mom and his brothers uh, and his sister as well. Uh, financially, you know, he paid for the bills, the house, the cars. Um, he even helped his mom open a business. Um, he was a good brother. He was an amazing son. He was his mom's best friend. and best friend of everybody around him at Quicken Loans. Uh, he treated his team just like members of his family. He truly knew each one of them and, and what they were about and, and what they were experiencing both inside and outside the office. Uh, one of the coolest things about Alex in general was that seeing his interaction with his family was much like what I experienced when I was on his team. He treated everybody uh, just by the golden rule and he had one of the biggest hearts you'd ever find on a person. I mean, I really felt like a brother to him. And he's definitely, that's something that we'll always remember and be a reminder for all of us that it is important to, to know everybody and treat everybody just like family. And that's something I, I remember about Alex. He was one of those people that after you spoke with him, you always felt better than you did before. Uh, if you were down and he knew it, he would do whatever it would take in order to put a smile on your face. He was the kind of guy that would always try to lift you up. Even if you were down, even if you felt like you couldn't do something, he would be the guy that would lift you up and make you feel like you could conquer anything that you put your mind to. Uh, Alex was very loyal. Uh, he cared about everybody on his team. He made sure everybody on his team was happy, whether it was in work or in your personal life. Alex was there to look out for you. If, you, if he walked in a room and you were having a bad day or you just were off for any reason, it just made you feel special. You know, I, every time I'd, I'd try to go up and, and talk to him throughout the day, I felt like he was in a one-on-one in -on -one or having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with somebody that he was working with, somebody he was leading with, another leader, a banker who, you know, I didn't even think that he knew, but, he, you know, after talking to him, he'd say he had this deep-rooted relationship. The guy meant a lot to me. He meant a lot to people around him, and it's, it's truly inspiring to see the impact that he's had on so many people. As soon as you meet Alex, you would feel the enthusiasm that he has for impacting the lives of others. He was just that person that wouldn't stop talking about how many lives that you could impact. Um, yeah, his, his personality too and just who he was, um, you know, to me that was contagious as well. I remember we had our, our golf outing, a regional golf outing, and he came over to my house uh, right afterwards and he had never met my wife Nikki and he certainly had never met my kids and in about three and a half minutes I know he had my son Angelo up on his lap and he was making him laugh and he was bouncing him around and um, you know I just think that that just kind of speaks to really who he was you know he was a loving caring dude and everyone loved, loved being around him. He brought the enthusiasm to bring out the best in others. It almost seemed as though he had more hours in the day than most people. Um, outside the office, I, I don't think you're going to find many guys who uh, enjoyed life more than Alex, um, which I was always, you know, envious of. If he wanted to do something, he was making it happen, whether it was, you know, going out with the friends, um, buying a house, buying a car, having a good time. Alex was always the guy, right? And, and he was a guy that lived his life, and he didn't answer to anybody, and that made you feel a little bit taller when you walked with Alex. It was unique to see how many people um, you know, Alex really touched, not just inside of banking, but inside of Quicken Loans as a whole. Um, he was like a brother to everybody. He was the kind of guy, when in a company of thousands of people, it seemed as though everybody knew who Alex was. But Alex was an individual that was the example that other people wanted to be. He made you feel like you were the only person in the room, even if there was hundreds of people in the room because he would take his time to speak with you, talk to you. He'd remember previous conversations that you had, um, bring those things up. At the end of the day, he taught me one major thing, and that's to love your family, uh, to love your friends, love your people, and most importantly, live life to the fullest. You know, a lot of people say, well, life is short, live life to the fullest. Um, I think Alex, even though he died young, he was a guy that truly did live life to the fullest. He, um, you know, he lived life to the fullest. He really did.
he was the definition of living life to the fullest. It wasn't about what other people wanted. It was about what you wanted to be like. And as long as I shall live, as long as those do that met Alex, we'll always think about that life that he lived and know that he wasn't waiting for his time to come. He was making his time now.